last time I checked. It's holiday time. Yes, I'm wearing Christmas sweater, but it feels a little bit hot. After all, it's tiny jungle island. Hello everyone and welcome to my world. Last night I had a dream. I was flying through the snowstorm towards this very cozy and very cute winter retreat. And when I woke up, I figured out I have to build it. Yes, today we are building cozy winter retreat. I have installed couple of texture packs that will help me with that. Not too many, don't worry. Just enough to feel a little bit more festive. And I know just the place where to go. So I came through this chunk loader. It's quite essential to my world. Trust me. So here I have warden switch and a mob switch using wardens. It's so so dark and so so loud here. But that's not the place where I want to build my winter retreat. As you probably know, ancient city generate mostly below the mountains. And this one has quite snowy mountain above. I think it looks gorgeous. However, it's not the place I'm looking for. I need completely snowy biome. Oh yeah, about that. I got textures for the goats, so they feel warmer. Today I will get all their horns, all eight of them. Oh, and just look who I found. <coughs> Brilliant. I see some quite nice areas, but not what I want. Is it the smallest ice peak biome? It's, it's so tiny. But right across the river, a village. Snowy village. Oh, so nice. And look at this valley. I'm starting to like this place. So far, it's the best candidate. Oh, look at that hill. And I found bears. Hmm, I like this place more and more. And look at these cute tiny rabbitses. Yep, I decided. This is a place for my tiny retreat. Right there, over the hill. I like how it is surrounded by forest, but has just enough open space with a great view for this village. So let's start from building the house. I won't make it too big. I want it to be tiny and cozy. The wood of the choice is, of course, spruce. I think it's the best wood for the log cabin vibe. It makes sense that it grows here, so I will make pillars of my house out of it. Yep, that's exactly the size of the house that I want to have. And it is beautifully on that hill. Well, to name it a house, I will put crafting table and a couple of doors. Now it's a house. Well, I'm joking. What is the house without the roof? I made the roof out of dark oak planks and stairs and filled it up with stripped spruce logs. I didn't build my house rectangular. I added these two small entrances so it adds more character to the house. And of course, this small detail with stair on the roof and tiny overlook window. For the walls I chose oak wood and then I added a lot of details such as the spruce, fences and gates. Such small detail but it adds so much. Also I've planted some berries to add a little bit of color. I think it looks quite cozy. I would definitely live there. Would you? Of course you wouldn't. We need interior first. I don't know exactly why, but whenever it's snowing, it's snowing inside of my house. I really have no idea why. Maybe absence of windows. So let's light up this Christmas tree. I almost burned down the house that I just built. How did it happen? I would be so, so upset. Now that's the house I would live in. Look at my little trick. I used shulker boxes as a floor. They really fit in, but they are also functional. For my next idea I need a lot, a lot of ice. Look, I found a tiny island, but it seems to be occupied by the spiggies. Well, I won't interrupt. Enjoy! So you wonder, why did I need so much ice? Basically, my house was blending in with the environment a little bit too much and it needed some ice in order to stand out. I also made this Christmas wreath as an entrance, two candy canes, two little path to my house and a cute decorated Christmas tree. I just built this house and I already encountered 
some realtors. They already want to buy this house from me. Or actually, just still. Rude. But you know what? Everybody welcome at my cozy winter retreat. I will speak with them a little bit and I hope I can make them friendly. And then they can visit this cute house. But no time to waste. It's time for my goat venture. I need to transport these goats and get their horns. What did you do? Why did you jump there? Let me, let me help you. That's better. No, 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 don't, don't go there. Oh no, I didn't want to harm anyone in this episode. I'm so, so sorry. Just, just promise me you'll be safe. Like, please just be safe. My home is really close and I prepared very nice cave for you. So let's go! <laughs> I have absolutely no clue what just happened there. And I have no idea what 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 is this weirdo doing. Probably grieving his friend. Two dead goats. I feel ashamed. And what's worse? It was my screaming goat, so now I don't have one. But hey, look, I got cute fox. Anyway, let's bring these remaining goats into this cave right behind my house. And there is also snowman waiting for you. Look, I promise, no more casualties, hopefully. And you know what? Let's breed you a little bit. Apparently, I need some extra goats. So now I just wait until they run into me. I make sure to avoid them. So they stomp right into the stone wall. That's how you get a goat horn. Normal goats provide four different types of horns. <laughs> And screaming goats also provide four different ones. Every horn drop is random, so it takes time and luck to get all four of them. I got so, so lucky. Four different goat horns in the row. I don't know what are the odds of that, but I do believe it's very, very lucky. What's unlucky is I don't have screaming goat. I could try to breed one, but I prefer to just find one somewhere in the mountains. And you know what? I actually found and I made sure to breed them. I didn't want to put them in the same cave as other goats and I decided to build for them. Gingerbread barn. Yep, gingerbread barn. Quite simple one. I used concrete and snow for the corners, brown terracotta for the walls, some dark oak wood and snow for the roof. And also for the roof I decided to use stripped mangrove log. It looks just like velvet cake. For the details, dark oak trapdoors are perfect. Also add some buttons for more texture, an iron trapdoor for a window, and also sprinkle some colors, red and yellow concrete to add this cookie chip vibe, and also chimney for some extra coziness, and some cookies at the entrance. Now goats can live inside. Oh, and about that stone wall. I discovered that goats do not drop their horns if they hit terracotta. I spent long time trying, no wonder it didn't work. But once I put stone wall, I got all the goat horns. Well, kind of. This time I wasn't so lucky, and I got some doubles or triples. But as soon as I got all the horns that I needed, I removed the stone wall and added some hay bales for goats to eat. I hope they enjoy. I don't enjoy. They attack me so much. Let me, let me just put different horns. Did you know that screaming goats attack way more often than the normal ones? Why are they so aggressive? Just, just chill, please. Well, that was intense. I think I'm out of here. Gosh, they're really hard to deal with. Anyway, it's time to transform the surrounding a little bit more. I decided to decorate a couple of more trees. One with glowstone and another one with frog lights. I think it works well. Then I decided that this little patch is a little bit empty. So here I will make a couple of custom trees. A tiny family of Christmas trees. These ones I will not decorate. But you know, I believe they add some atmosphere and a little bit character. Right next to this red berry plantation. Yep, 
now I like it much more. And then I got another idea. What if I add a little bit of ice spikes? I think they fit very very nice. Also, I've got secret room. Just don't tell anyone. It has really really great view. Also, I built little Christmas market. I will show it to you a little bit later. But first, I have to build this finishing touch. The nether portal. I just used some amethyst, ice, and honestly, it doesn't need much more. It looks amazing. Now, I can finally open my cozy winter retreat. I already have some visitors. Let's go check out the market. Oh, another detail. What is the market without a snowman? No, not like that. Much better. Look at it. And there are a lot of villagers in my market. I love how they look. I wish vanilla snowman looked like that. Aren't they cute? So cute. I will make another one. Yep. Oh, for Christmas market I got this cute entrance with spore blossoms. I got couple of tents, of course, with some sellers inside. They can sell you some useful stuff. The design for these tents are very very simple. Basically some wool blocks, logs, fences and upside down stairs. I put villagers inside with their work block and it's actually functional. I can buy some clothes from the armorer over here and also I can buy some food. Or I can sell some food. You want potatoes, eh? I, I have a lot of potatoes. I have a lot of potatoes. Please check out that episode. It has a lot of potatoes. Yep, the market is very tiny, but it adds a lot of life to my winter retreat. And look what I managed to buy from this. Mason, red glazed terracotta. This block is so perfect for Christmas decorations. Thank you, dear sir. I'm gonna use your gift right away. Yep. Much better. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Did you know if you will sit in the boat together with Pillager, he will be constantly shooting you until his crossbow will break. After that, he will be peaceful. Absolutely harmless. Just don't get out of boat before it's time. It, it, it takes a while. So after sitting in the boat for a very long time, his crossbow broke. Look at this face. Why do you look so sad? Let's get to my house. It's much warmer inside. So, how do you feel here? I see you like my paintings. Do you want some candy or cookie? I bet you do. I'm so happy to have a roommate. Maybe it's a bit too lonely to be alone in this house. Hey, look, it was snowing so, so much. Everything turned white. Hey, who did we got here? Is it Wandering Santa? Hey, hello, welcome. Why, why do you panic? Oh, it's a pillager. He doesn't like pillager. It's okay, let's go to the market. Let's see what can you offer to us. Well, it's not about the gifts. It's about the time that we spend together. Where are his reindeers? He said on the roof. And he was not wrong. But it ain't no reindeer, it's a llama. Well, as I said, everybody welcome here. Even llama. Also... Another llama. Oh, look, is it icicles? Anyway, let's get you to the market. I believe villagers will be so, so happy. Yeah, let's get you out of boat. Hey, what's going on down here? Okay, okay, I will leave you alone. Am I the creep? Uh, maybe I am. Oof, it's snowing so much. Let's check up on the bear. He is here next to the frozen lake. Let's give him maybe some berries. I'm sorry that I tied you up. I just want to make sure you don't eat my foxes. And I tied my foxes so they don't eat my rabbits. And I tied my rabbits so they don't unexpectedly log out from this world. Hey, do you want to check out my big gifts? Probably something nice is inside. Villagers seems to be very intrigued. And you know, I hope there is one gift for me. And that gift is from you. Yes, from you. There are three things on my holiday wish list. Subscribe, like and comment. You can do one, two or even three. Especially if you enjoyed this episode. Because I really, really enjoyed making it for you. I enjoyed making every single video, so I really hope you've seen previous one. I will really, really appreciate if you will do it after this one. Oh, this place is so magical. That's a perfect place to celebrate Christmas and meet the new year. Thank you so, so much for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!